Okay, now we have came across some basic fundamental principles to solve engineering mechanics problems. Now, let's go through procedure for problem analysis. Procedure for problem analysis is actually some general steps you need to follow to solve any engineering mechanics problem. So, step number one, read the problem carefully. Many students in a hurry to solve problem and to save time, they avoid reading questions twice or thrice. It's better you read your question at least twice and relate the given data to actual engineering situation. Let's come to step number two. After reading the problem, it's important to understand the given relevant data and draw some necessary diagrams for it. These diagrams are called free body diagrams. Even if you have been given diagrams in your question paper, it doesn't matter. Draw your own diagram to suit your own data and your own thinking. After that, step number three. Apply relevant fundamental principles. Check equations dimensionally, etc. Always check units. Mass might be given in kgs or grams and you have to convert it accordingly. So it's important to check your equations dim dimensionally and also relate and also apply proper fundamental principles to your FBD. Step number four, cross check the final answer with any alternative possible method. If you have time, please cross check your answers. Okay, now the most important part, if you go wrong while drawing your FBD, your entire steps go wrong ahead. FBD is not proper, you won't be able to apply correct principles to it. If you won't apply correct principles to your engineering mechanics problem, your answer will be wrong. So give maximum time to reading question and drawing a proper FBD. Thank you.